kids, man. We, we've enjoyed them all summer, all through camp, two days, all lifting. Um, we just got to clean up execution. You know, we had turnovers, early interception, really changed the momentum of the game. Um, last two weeks, you know, we've given an outstanding performance defensively. I and mean, we just, we can't compliment ourselves with playing a clean ball on offense. It was a problem last week, and it cost us a game, and it was a problem tonight. And it separated this game. We could have been a lot closer. That's a good football team ever, don't get me wrong. Um, but we're better than the score indicated. Um, it was a physical football game. I think we answered the physicality if we didn't set the physicalness of the game. Um, so I'm extremely proud of our kids. We just got to not pout. We got to keep working and we just got to play clean football on, on offense. And, you know, we'll get a victory here soon. Yeah, we're not in the moral victories. You know, we got another team coming here next week that's going to be 3-0. And they put 69 on us last year at their place. And, you know, they're league favorites and they're going to probably be 3-0. Um, you know, and. You know, nobody's gonna feel sorry for us. Nobody ever has. No, we don't want anybody to feel sorry for us. We'll keep working and we'll, we'll figure this thing out. But uh, as long as these kids keep the right attitude and play for one another and play for the name across the front of their jersey, we'll be all right. Who are you happy with tonight? Everybody. You know, I, I thought um, I thought the defense played outstanding. Um, you know, I thought Quint Walker played well. I thought Kyson or Eli Kaiser, a linebacker. I thought the linebackers really played well. Uh, Makai Johnson played well. Jordan Ferguson uh, had some big plays on defense. You know, Jordan had a touchdown. Makai had a touchdown. Um, the quarterback was hot and cold. Uh, he made some good reads and some good balls, and then there's some other things that we need to clean up, but that's high school football. They're not getting paid millions. They don't spend uh, X amount of hours in the film room and breaking stuff down. You know, they play this for the love of the game, and so you're going to get that. Um, he's only a junior, you know, so we'll keep working with him. I have confidence in the young man, and, and we'll get him better, and we'll get better. Get this you know, facility built, and, uh, um, you know, this town has always been a football town, and we'll get it back to being a football town. I have one question for you, Coach. How are you able to keep the kids emotionally involved in the game going down into halftime, going to third quarter? How are you able to keep the kids emotionally? We didn't have to. They're playing Hope Aloud. They're a next door neighbor. And we ain't going to have to keep them emotionally involved next week. We were playing Elmwood. When, when you're playing schools that close to proximity and they know these kids, um, you don't have to keep them emotionally involved. You know, it was only a two score game, should have been a one score game. So our, our kids were engaged. Our kids believed they could come out and win. We just couldn't get anything rolling offensively in the second half to, to get it to a one score possession. Going into next week, are you going to work on your offense to get them going into the, possibly the fourth week, fifth week? Uh, you know, we'll just keep practicing. You know, we, we prepare each week. We, we do different things each week. Uh, we set different game plans depending on the defenses that we see. Um, but the opponent's uh, game plan also, and they practice during the week also. And sometimes their players just make one or two more plays or an outstanding play. Uh, you know, the interception right here where the kid dove and picked it off the turf. You know, that was just a heck of a football play. Sometimes you just got to give your hats off to your opponent. And tonight, uh, that was, you know, that was a big play. Number two, um, you know, the barrier kid on film, he was bailing a lot and, and getting deep in his coverage. And, uh, you know, we wanted to run a hitch underneath him, and he squatted on it and picked it off early in the game and set the tempo. You know, that's something he hadn't done most, mostly we've seen on film. And he broke a tendency, and he picked us off. So, you know, hats off to them for making plays also. No problem. Thanks, Coach.